This is lesson 38. Uh, this time I thought we'd try something slightly different. There's no sketch for a start, so you can't go wrong. <laughs> uh, all I've done is I've put your colours up there, which is raw sienna and ochre, or ochre, alizarin crimson, ultramarine plus burnt umber, and less of the second colour, which will make it more bluey. That's all we need to start with. So once you've got your colour mixes, let's get cracking, shall we? I'll move that now and then off we go. I'm going to use the, uh, the, the, the big brush now. This is the, just to give it a wash of clean water, actually. So let's give it a wash of clean water and see where we go from here. And what I hope to finish up with on this one is a, a, a view of the of Norfolk Broads. You've, you've heard of the Norfolk Broads, which is the, the, the flat area of Norfolk where the, the rivers and the, the broads are. And just a nice simple painting, which is a, a joy to work with. You can all do this, no problem at all. I just washed on some clean water, nothing else, that's, that's pretty straightforward. Any kind of brush will do to do this. And I've got my colours mixed already. These are my colour mixers. That's the Sienna, Alizarin Crimson, and the mix in the corner there. Okay. So let's let's start at this on top. Put some of the the Sienna in first. Let's get that going. Let's get, just wipe it in. I do like it when we do this and it's, we don't know what we're going to get. That's nice about it. That'll do for a start. And then we can come out of that and do some... I think we'll do some... Some of that ultramarine and burnt umber at the top there, like that. Some of the colours we're going to find out down here as well. And then I think we can put in some of this, this Elizabeth and Crimson. See where we go with that, shall we? Wipe that off a bit. Moving down. Because it's all wet, it, it blends into each other. That, that's lovely. That softens it and just keeps it flowing. Just what we need. Get some of these colours down here as well. Glow. This is a, an evening sky. Need to put a bit tissue light across there. It's handy this brush. It can do all detail work and all sorts with it. It's it's, it's a two-inch scepter gold brush. I've had it for years and uh, I find it quite useful. I think we'll put this back on there, okay, so. so this one folks, I'm going to make it up as I go along. So that's, that's, the, that's, that's the fun of it all, making it up. And uh, whatever you do will be right because there's only you knows what you're doing. 
which is it's an interesting painting. Good idea doing it. Let, let's let's see what we've got first. Now here's the sky, and this is this is whoops. This is a sort of a part of the broads down here, and and water as well. So let let's let's start and put something in. Let's give, give a bit of depth to start with. A brush there. Let's put in some depth. I'm mixing some of that's the ultramarine and burnt umber, and I'm going to mix it with some of that alizarin crimson. Let's see what colour we've got. Just do a test on there. Let's see see what we we'll finish it with. That seems like a nice colour. And let's let's start say about here. It's, it's given us our horizon line, if you like. That's better. Across there. A bit more dark in there. Put some more that, that uh, ultramarine and burnt umber into that. I'll test it, see if it's got what I want. Yes, it has. It's, it's not, not bad. And put some little flicks up there. This is distant landscape, if you like. The, the sun has gone and it's, it's, it's in front of us. So we'll get all sorts of mix ups and what have we got here. That's a start. And I think I'll just have another one behind that, which will be. Perhaps a touch, might be a touch paler, just to the right of that. We shall make it just slightly more in the distance. You can still see it, but it's, it's very faint. So the, the, the sun's gone down there and the, the, the rivers start here and the broads and we can super travel in through here so we were traveling into our picture. But keeping that depth, this is stronger because it's closer to us and then we'll see where we go from there. So I think the next thing we can do is add a touch of more dark in this foreground here. I want to mix a bit of dark using that, that color I've got left from up there. Pinching that. Let's get a bit of dark down here. And some more alizarin crimson into it. Get a bit more dark. And put this, I think, uh, We'll put one just here. This is going to create another, another depth. And of course it's stronger and darker than that, so it's closer to us, isn't it? So we're using what they call aerial perspective to bring this thing towards us. Could be nice to overlap that there. It'll put it right in front of it, won't it? Send that back. So we've got three levels there. We've got a very pale one, mid tone, then a bit stronger in the foreground here. I'll put a bit of stuff up here. A bit of shrubbery. That'd be nice just to suggest something here. Links the two together. But before we leave that background there, I, I might just introduce a, a, a touch of interest into it. 
by putting a sort of a, a distant a distant mill just to sort of not it's not going to be in your face it's going to be very muted but just so you can see it that'll be on on, on here we'll put it on the edges of a suggestion of a an old mill this is this is long gone it's, it's not been used anymore it, it, it's sort of uh, it's a ruin for want of a better word we get one of the old sails that's just across here and perhaps want to touch down there just to give it and this little brush is just doing what i want it to do yeah. so, I, I, so i can see it but it's not actually there it, it's it's in the distance that'll do me fine Right, now I think we will have another layer here and that will bring it a bit, bit, bit further forward and this is obviously going to be stronger, stronger in tone, same colours but stronger in tone just to get us, get us forward. Let's have a look what we've got here, use a sort of brush, this is stronger value and I'm going to put some more burnt umber into that now because it's, it's coming forward. Let's get it right, a strong mix. So I'm going to use it the, sort of across here where we've been working. But it's, it's, a, it's a level ground, but it'll, it'll be in front of that one. So we're going to start it off about here. This is our, our, our level, if you like. And we'll take it up from there. But this is not the brush to do this with, so I'm going to pull that down and get a round one. I can work, work a bit better. Something like like this. That's better. That gives me some twiggery. A touch of twiggery. Of course, we can link this. Link this area. Even across that there, you see, that's nice. That brings that, that into play. The harmony of it all. So as I say, it's it's, it's mainly silhouette this thing, but it's, we're trying to create a a calming effect of evening. I know you can do it. There's no problem. You've done that well so far. And this will be no problem. As I start, I think I'll just put it a bit, a bit further forward here like this. So that, that's one behind there, there's one there, there's one there, one there, and we're coming further forward each time, which is lovely. Put a bit of detail on this because it's closer to it. I'll use that, that smashing rigger that my, my friend Mike bought me. That might just introduce a touch of twiggery and stuff like that in here, like this. Show a few branches in there like as though it's a tree that'll give us that here and it'd be nice if we got uh, I'm making it up as I go along so I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking aloud uh, 
a nice bit of fencing here. This would look nice, a bit of fence, wouldn't it? Just here. As I say, your painting will be entirely different to this, but it doesn't matter because it's yours. And you can't see it anywhere else because it's your painting. So I'll stick a touch of rustic stuff on here. I'll do an anchor this down here with a touch of rough grass. So that's got, we've got four levels there and with the skies behind us, everything of the garden lovely. So the next thing I want to do, I want to, well let, let's introduce a, what about a small boat shall we? Try a small boat, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you don't have to put a boat in but uh, this is, I think it would look nice, give us a, a bit of a focal point. All with the colours of evening. Right, see what we've got for that. So we'll have a boat here, let's say. I mean, it's just a... Just a boaty shape. Do a pull down here. That gives it a bit of a bit of a boat. And of course we're gonna get some reflections when we get this close, aren't we? So we ought to sort of try try a bit of that. Get a flat brush, that'll give me a nice suggestion. And of course the reflection is always paler than what is reflecting, isn't it? So we can put a touch of reflection down here. And of course this this big area here will, will cast some reflections down here, won't it? Be nice to get that down here. Supposed to get a touch here. And if you want to, we can just suggest a well, that, that, I might be nitpicking here, but you might get a touch of this, you know, that reflection here like this. But uh, I'm not. You be careful because you can get bogged down doing this. And I think it might be an idea if. We put a put a, a mast on this boat. That's a nice mast. A bit nice, a nice mast. I'm using Carol's card, which a credit card, which I cut up, which 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 has saved me a fortune. So we'll put a bit of a, a credit card detail on there. Yep, like we've shown you before, paint the edge of it like that. And hopefully. We should get a, a mast for this little boat. There, how's that? It's enough. It doesn't matter if it's broken line, it doesn't matter about that at all. You know what it is, I know what it is. And we don't need to sort of emphasize it much more. If you want if you if you if it's worries, you just, just touch it in like that, see. A touch up here. No, I'll leave it, I'm not going to bother with it. So we, 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 we've now got uh, a layer at the back there, a, a distant uh, broad, uh, the, the scenery around it. Here's the river, the, around there, or the, the lakes around here, coming down there, they're catching the sun around here, coming around here, and then there's a, a boat just, just floating away if we don't do anything about it. I think what we should do is just perhaps link, link it to that, shall we, like that. So 
They've tied the boat up, I'm not worried about the boat anymore. And we'll be coming forward. So what I want to do with this, this area here is bring it a bit darker so it brings it towards me. Probably some kind of a landmass. Doesn't matter what it is, it's as long as it's, it's a landmass of some description. We'll, we'll, we'll think of something, I'm sure, we'll, between us. What's all about this? So it's got to be, got to be the same colours we're using. Don't, don't get carried away and put all sorts of weird colours in. It's about harmony, this picture. Same colours, less water. It's just, just darken it down. So I took, so I'll bring some, whoop, to to this down here. How's that? Because it's it's going dark, isn't it? So we're going we're going to get this sort of a effect of evening or night down here. And perhaps I'm, I'm, I'm terrible, I'll do, I'll do another little, one of these here, look. Something to stand on. That's why I, I love doing these because uh, I, don't know what, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do next, so it's, uh, it's nice because I can't get it wrong. Well, I can get it wrong, but... Uh, it's, it's it's not what I plan to do, but it's it's there. It's a it's a it's making the picture or or ruining the picture, depending on how you look at it. But we'll survive this. We shall. Well, I'm no, we shall. And you'll have another lovely painting to sh to bore the neighbours with. Uh, I think. Let me see. I think. Shall we? But we'll have a nice tree coming off this. I think that'd be nice, wouldn't it? So the tree here is. He's going up, it's flicking through here. And that's linked all the three layers together there. That's nice, I like that. And they're making it up so we can't get the branches in the wrong place. Pop another one in down here. Press another little, another little tree down here, just hanging over this side. I'll do, I'll put some, I better put some darks in there as well, just a, so just a, a touch of greenery around here, don't, don't overdo it, it's, I don't want to make it overpowering, just a touch of greenery. And the beauty of this is I've got to make this strong to bring it right forward because this is our, 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 our point which is the, the closest to us, the viewing point if you like, which is strongest because we, we, we stood right by it, we're close on, we even darken that even further like this, don't we? And, and of course you, you'd see a little bit more detail here because it's, because it's close. So let's just use our little rigger again. I can flick some little bits of little grassy stuff like that up there. Which is nice. Right, we're coming right here, down there, down there, down there, down there. Boom, 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 boom. Now I think what I will do is, when you get a, a, a scar like this, what you can also get is, is a sort of a, a, a an evening cloud formation. I think it, it's rather than tell you, it's best thing to try and do it. And then we can see what happens, shall we? It might work, it might not work, we'll see though. The best thing is to try it. If we don't try anything, we'll never get it done. We'll never, never try anything. So 
that colour that well. But this is the alizarin crimson with a touch of French ultramarine into it, just to take the take the harshness of it, the, 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 the chocolate box look of it. We'll see how we go with this. Brush there, I'll use that brush instead. Now the sky, it, it, it seems to uh, come across in, in, in fingers like this in the evening. As it's finally going dark, you know, it's, it's, let's see what happens, it, The last clouds are breaking up and going into slight slivers like this. It's Just keep it flicking through like that. The night is nearly here. Find that distant hill we've got. I think a touch more alizarin into that would be nice. Alizarin crimson, just a touch into there to give it a bit of a glow. If I'm going to go over that hillside there, I've not, not losing anything down to the horizon. Right down to the water's edge. Then I think I can just put in, you know, get another one or two just, just flicking across here like this. Behind the mill. Flick them across here like this. Let's introduce some of this colour into the foreground here. We're going to pick that colour up from the sky, aren't we? That'll link that together. And it's going to reflect in this water here as well. It's all hopefully coming together now. Get a touch of colour into this this pinky stuff down here as well. I like that pinky stuff. So this reflecting the water here. Get a bit darker in this foreground here. Bring it towards us. I might put that little bit, bit of landmass back in there again because I've, I've lost it. I, I liked it and I've, I've lost it, so I'm just changing my mind again. 
I said, this is the beauty of not knowing what you're drawing and painting, because <laughs> you can change your mind, can't you? It's lovely. Not too strong. So look what we've got. Touch it. And I'll put it just behind that there. A bit too strong that. A bit more water in it, that'll thin it out of it. So we'd lost it with that cloud, but uh, I've, I've put it back in again. It just gives you gives another depth. It's nice when you've got a bit, little bit more depth there. It puts another layer onto the the broad's evening, if you like. There we are. Don't don't go too far because I want that that water to come round here and round there and round there. If you had like an S. So that's all right. No detail on it because it's too far away. We've got reflections there, we've got reflections down there. Oh, I tell you, I didn't, didn't put in as a reflection. I should have done it. It's a remiss of me. It's just to put in suggested we need that don't we it comes down there the mast because I know somebody would say he yeah, put a mast in what's he doing not to worry right I want to put some birds in for you now the, the birds I'm going to not, not going to be, be crows or anything like that. I, I was going to put some geese in sort of uh, coming home to roost and the, the best way of doing this is and I'll show you what, what I'm going to do is I'll get a smaller brush because they're, they're, not, they're not big geese they're little ones that'll do just be a general dark shape they will because they, they're silhouetted against the sky let's have a look That, that, I'm using that sky colour at the top there without uh, hardly any water. That'll give me a, a nice dark, won't it? That should do. That's all. Now, I thought, now, uh, you, you're better if you're having you have your birds flying into the picture as opposed to out of the picture. So in, any time you do boats or anything, don't have it going sailing out, have it sailing in. I mean that one sat in the middle, but uh, but what I mean is I'll put these birds coming this way from the left, coming towards the evening sky. That's where they're going. It's time to roost. So let, let's just put one or two in. Now then, uh, geese. If you, the best way of, uh, I think they're doing them is, you remember the old Matthias Rosa bottle? <laughs> like a, if you do do that shape, let, let's put one in and see what happens. There's his neck. Let's put a bit of a couple of wings on it, then and, and, and you've got you've got a, a geese, haven't you, or a goose, <laughs> geese. <laughs> so and they, they don't all fly in formation. They fly in formation, but not the wings are not flapping at the same rate. So we've got to vary that as well. Let's see what we've got. We'll put one down here. I'll put wings down here on this one. He's on his downward stroke. There's another one just here. When your neighbours see this, they'll think, by Joe. They'll be buying your paintings of you. They will, I'm telling you. Don't flood the market, whatever you do though. Now I'll have one just, this is, is this is on a, on a bit of a curve, this one. There, that's, that's, that's doing a dive bombing job. 
put the head on, put a head on that one. One on this one. That's three, and I'm not going to do a lot, I'm going to just do a few. Uh, another one here. Nice blob like that. Take the neck down like that, towards its head. Then decide where you want to put your wings. Uh, let's have uh, one up here like that. And press another one down here, that would be nice. Down there. You'll have a bit of fun doing these. I always have a bit of fun. And it's nice not, not to have to follow a, 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 a detailed drawing, it's, it's just, just a bit of fun. So if, it, if, it, if it's in the wrong place, it can't be because you, you, there was nothing there before. So you, you've, got it, you've got it made. Should be your best painting, this one. Put one back there like that. Oh yes, I can see. They're in full motion, like the red arrows, these lot. He's coming in fast, this one. He's got his wings flapping down like this. I think I'll put another one up here, just short. And of course I'll put one, one, one here, he's the lead one, this one. Because they always have one in the front, don't they? And do you know where I, where I live in in Cromer, uh, in the autumn, you can see that the, the geese migrating, and it's fascinating to watch the V formations as they come across. It it really is wonderful. I mean, even if you're not a bird watcher or a, or a bird or whatever they call them, uh, there's a lot of it going off around here. The birding, and it's 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 a joy to watch it. And how they know where they're going, I don't know. But, but they, what they do is is also I'm just going to that. What they also do, they keep changing the leader at the front. They they, they, have, they keep taking their turns. Who's going to go first? You know, for a bit, they must have a rest. Whether they're sleep dream or not, I don't know. And I always I haven't counted them yet, but. I'm, Whatever it is, I'm going to put an odd number in because I never put an even number in because it looks like looks like I've made it up, like I have. But I'm, I'm not with this one. Here's another wing, one coming down here. Oh yes, he's banking this one. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another one. So got to have a nine. Nine. And he's the lead one. These are falling slope, quite sl slowly behind you. They, they haven't caught up yet. So here's, here's red number one, this. I was painting some, a, 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 a picture on the ships once. And I've put, put some, I've, I've put some birds in similar to this. And this bloke came up to me afterwards with a paint, with, 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 look at the paint, he said, I love your red foot geese. Well, I'd never heard of a red foot goose. I didn't know what they were like. But uh, he, he was a, an ornithologist. And purely by chance, I'd, I'd, I'd depicted a red foot, red foot gee, goose or something. I, I, purely, I tell you, there's not knowledge, no knowledge involved, I'll tell you. There, I say, oh, he's, he's the lead. He's got his neck stuck out a bit, better, bit, bit better as well, oh, like that. Yes, that's enough. If I don't, if I, I don't want to do any more of them because, or, or, or we shall have a flock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what we've got here, folks, just look, we've got the evening sky coming down, the last light coming from down here, where the sun's gone. Distant landscape just bound there. A sort of a, a, a mid, middle landscape. There was a, a, a silhouette of a, a, an old windmill in there. Then we've got this next layer here, 
just to, just to bank with them, put detail on. Then we come across to this side, which is stronger in value, and it's also got a bit of a fence and a, and a, and a boat more against it. And then to top it all, we've got, we've got this foreground strong area, which brings it even further. So we've got one, two, three, four, five layers, and then a sky which is that's just coming into, into darkness there, and the birds are flying into it, ready to roost for tonight. So uh, I think that, that, that's all for today, folks. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, give us a like or subscribe, and we'd love to see you ticking it and, and subscribing so we can get in the next one sent to you, no trouble. And I'll see you on the next one. Uh, any questions you've got, put them in the comments below. And, uh, and until then, it's goodbye till the next time. Goodbye. <laughs>